may be aware that we, when it comes to issues of school health, the school health program is at the center of public health. And that's why we are concerned as professionals when we continue to record cases. But then you are aware that the government is making efforts to ensure that um, uh, routine disease surveillance, uh, if uh, cases are suspected, then it means that already I'm sure that we uh, probably have samples that have been taken uh, to labs because of our testing capacity to uh, guide professionals in terms of the actual cause of, um, of the, uh, what you call the mysterious disease. And uh, there are interventions that are uh, um, routinely are put in place and that's why I've already mentioned that the coordination between regulation, um, the national government, the counties, uh, because you know that health is devolved, but then the policy arm is at the national level. So that coordination uh, is what will help us as a country to deal with the uh, emerging challenges on diseases and even the emerging diseases. But then that does not mean that we are not alive to the fact that there are challenges that still need to be addressed. The issue of health workforce have already indicated that is a huge gap that as a country we need to bridge. Uh, we also need to ensure that there is uh, public sensitization so that uh, Kenyans are well aware about the various causes of, um, of, uh, of our disease burden, not just uh, those that are related to food safety and those that are communicable in nature, but even the non-communicable diseases, which is increasingly becoming a big public the, the cases of cancer, the cases of uh, uh, you know, diabetes, and all the other non-communicable um, uh, conditions that we are dealing with or grappling with.